This tutorial explains how to filter a vector by a logical condition using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called vec. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector object containing 5 characters which are called A, B, A, C and D. Now let's assume that we want to filter this vector object so that we keep only those values that are equal to A and C. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 5. And in this line of code, I'm subsetting our vector object using square brackets. And within the square brackets, I'm specifying a logical condition. So this logical condition can be basically whatever you want. However, in this case, I'm using the in operator to check for the values in our vector object that are equal to A and to C. And then I'm storing the output of this subset in a new data object which is called vecfilter1. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called vecfilter1 and we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code and then you can see that we have created a new vector object which contains only the characters A and C. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.